So this is random number two, um, scrape box info video, and uh, this is just going to jump right in. It's a continuation of random part one, just due to the uh, limitations that uh, YouTube will allow videos to be uploaded. I had to cut that one off, and this one just jumps right in. So we were talking about how to be able to comment to say three URLs from one particular domain. So if I have um, right here mytownmatters.com, but I only want to comment three of them so that I don't look like I'm over spamming blogs. Um, I don't want to comment all five of them, or maybe I have 50 from a, a particular site. Well, if I hit remove duplicate domains, it only leaves me one. It will go down the list, pick the first one that it finds, which would be this one, keep that one, and discard the other four, which can be handy if the list is randomized different ways. You can do different ones, but the easiest way to guarantee that I'm going to get three URLs from that one domain is all built right into Scrapebox. So if we do split duplicate domains, pretty easy. What happens here is it takes and removes all the duplicate domains and it just keeps one URL from each domain. And then it allows you to save the rest into a file. So let's split duplicate domains. Yes, we want to remove them. Give it a minute. I'm going to call this split off one because this is what's left over that split off from this master all file. Then what's left, left is one URL from each domain. I'm going to export that, and I'm just going to label it one. Keep the numbers corresponding. Then I'm going to clear this out, and I'm going to re-import what that split off. So the one file is one URL from each domain, and this is split off is what's left over, and the master URL is all of them. So let's open up split off. It's going to open back up. Let's do it again. Split off duplicate domains. We're going to call it split off two this time. Just keep going down the road. And then this file is now one URL from each of the domains that are left. Let's export that and we'll call it two. One more time, bring it in, bring off split off two, split off the duplicate domains, call this split off three. And then once again, one URL from each domain that was left, and then number three. So now we just went through, we took the whole master file and we split off a piece of it. One URL from each domain and then what was left. Open that back off and split off one URL from each domain and then what was left. So as we've gone through here now, each one of these one, two, and three files have one URL from each domain. So if I bring all three of those files back together, you'll see that I only have one URL from each domain on there. And if we go up here and let's sort it, um, there we go. There we go. My town matters. Just three URLs because each time you split off the domains and follow that path, you're going to get a whole other set of unique URLs from that domain. So now I can go through here and comment, and I have max three URLs from each domain. Pretty easy. Built right in the scrape box. Just takes a couple minutes. Um, trim to root is really easy. Click that, and it just cuts everything down to your original, uh, you know, just the root domain. Um, checking page rank, now had I not trimmed to root, I could get that URL page rank or I could get the domain page rank. Domain page rank is this root domain here, URL page rank is the actual URL, so the post you were on or whatever. Check indexed, pretty easy, it's just going to tell you if that URL is indexed, so if you had a list of pages you wanted to see if were indexed in Google, you load up your list and check and it will tell you if it's indexed or not. Grab emails also pretty pretty easy. It'll let you grab them from a local file you have or throw in a list of URLs like this and it'll pull them all up and scrape any email addresses on there. Um, you can import URL lists. A couple things. You can import and replace the current list. This only lets you select one list to import and it'll replace whatever's over here. Import and add to will add to whatever list is over here and I can select multiple lists to add to. Select URL list to compare. This is pretty straightforward. If I have a list of URLs here and I want to make sure it doesn't contain any duplicates from another list, I can select the URL list to compare and then I can bring in and compare them off of one of these files and I don't know what this is going to do. I just clicked it. Um, it's going to make sure that none of the URLs in here are the same as were in there and they aren't because I trimmed them to root. So um, if I wanted to do that on the domain level, I can do that too. See how there's three in each one? If I go import and select to compare on the domain level and use this um, file here, it's actually going to clear them all. 
um, but that's okay. We'll do it for the fun of it. Um, it picks each domain and will make sure that there are no URLs in this list that match the old domain. So, and I had only split off, that was to split off three files, so some domains weren't there, so this is what's left over. But anyways, that's pretty straightforward. Sorry if I made that confusing. Um, so compare on the domain level or compare on the URL level. This will just select duplicate URLs to remove based on other files, and this will select any URLs that match any domains from the other file. And then paste to the clipboard is pretty easy. Um, you can export in a wide array. You can export. You can export and split. So I can knock this list down into like 5,000 file chunks. I can also export and randomize my list. Um, and then I can export it as an HTML file, as an Excel file, etc., and copy to the clipboard. I can also, if I checked PageRank, I can import and export the various formats for PageRank itself. Updates are pretty easy too. I haven't updated this one so I could use it for the video. It's showing there's a new update. If this is red, there are new updates available. You just click update and it'll tell you a new update is available here in green. If this is scrolling across here in green, there's no new update available. Then you can go through the list of updates as well and scroll all the way back to um, version 1.9 and see the URL enhancements. It's also available on scrapebox.com. Then I can download updates follow through and so let's just do an update right now so I download updates if I wanted to update this pretty easy it takes a second comes in I run the update it's gonna take a minute to run the update it'll close everything down and then it'll come back up and say do you want to restart Scrapebox and I hit yes and it brings Scrapebox back up and tells me it was just updated to the latest version click OK and now you can see over here it's all green and if I hit update it says in red no updates available uh, so that's pretty straightforward and then that's all for this video, and we'll continue on in the next one.